Welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Phalanx video. In this episode, we'll be taking a close look at Phalanx's onboard effects. Phalanx has seven freely assignable effect slots, plus a four band equalizer for each one of the 16 sample pads. As usual, the audio signal path runs from top to bottom through each of the effect slots in turn. This is called an effects chain. Right clicking in an empty insert slot opens the context menu from which you can select one of several effects. For information about all the effects available in Phalanx, please refer to the Phalanx manual where each effect is described in detail. For now, let's select a reverb. This is a high quality reverb algorithm licensed from the well-known developer Arts Acoustic. It's actually the same reverb re-effects used in the Nexus Synthesizer plugin. As you can see, a new control panel has appeared containing all the parameters you need to edit the reverb sound. Each effect also has its own preset browser with many factory presets. Now let's add a phaser to the signal chain. Here the phasing effect comes after the reverb, so the phasing isn't softened by the reverb, but is applied to the already reverb process signal. To position the phaser before the reverb in the signal chain instead, simply drag and drop it onto the required slot. Effects can be switched on and off either individually, at once. Now let's take a look at some of the other effects. Here is a delay effect. Phalanx even has a convolution reverb on board. This one is called Impulse and already includes countless first-class impulse responses. Of course, it's also easy to add your own. Whenever you think your current rack of effects could be useful later, save it as a preset. Again, Phalanx already has lots of effect rack presets. Owners of licenses for other Vengeance plugins will already have noticed these other Vengeance plugins can be opened in Phalanx. For instance, Filter XL or Multiband Sidechain. Note that the Vengeance Producer Suite, Metrum, is a special case. It's actually not an effect plugin, but a VST instrument. You can open Metrum directly in a sample pad. Clicking on Edit opens the Metrum editor. Use Freeze to pre render Metrum's output, then edit that sample using Phalanx's envelopes and other features. Finally, there's the equalizer. The equalizer in Phalanx is a fully configurable four band with peak, shelving, and high pass, low pass filters. Another great feature is that the effects of modulation are displayed immediately. Let's set up an example of that. We assign the modulation wheel to the EQ band 2 frequency. This is done in the modulation matrix.
Now we can see that the modulation wheel is affecting the EQ band 2 frequency. More about modulation routing in a separate modulation matrix video. This concludes our introduction to the effects page in Phalanx. See you in the next video.